Hey, how's it going? Jonathan here. Um, I just wanted to share this video with you um, to kind of explain and share with you the some of like the top five things that I've learned um, after generating $700,000 uh, per month for one of our clients. Okay, so we're on pace to do $900,000 uh, per month. Uh, if you can see the graph here. So like, let me just refresh the screen so you don't think I'm lying or whatever. Uh, yeah, but like full transparency, right? Just here, uh, just refresh the screen for you. Okay, so like, Okay, uh, today started off bad, okay? Uh, okay, so like today's the 21st, so you can see. Yeah, so for the month of like April, 700, and like we just ramp, right? Just absolutely just ramp the entire thing. And I'm gonna have a case study on this as well. Okay, but I think it'll be important to like kind of share with you. Hopefully you find it useful, okay? Um, like five things that I learned throughout the way. And um, these are really just mindset things and like small little things that you will, you'll notice when you start scaling any business. Okay, so for, for ads especially, like uh, number one, right? Uh, ads are like the stock market. Okay, stop staring at the numbers. <laughs> okay, I know this sounds very, very weird, but like um, I realized the more I stare at the numbers, uh, the worse the ad gets, okay? It doesn't mean that the more time I, st I spend staring at, at the data on the Facebook business manager, right, means the ads will get better, okay? Actually, the less time I spend uh, looking into the data and more about the general macro strategy of the marketing campaign, uh, the better the ads get, the, the ads get, okay? So how I will really recommend to you is like, always when you launch an ad, right, just let it optimize for three full days, okay? Don't try to think about it. Don't don't try to touch anything, okay? Just let let the machine and the machine learning uh, kick in and so that like you just you're just doing experiments at this point okay you're just seeing what works and what doesn't okay so like like nowadays right i spend probably maximum two to three hours per day only looking at ads and data all right 90 percent of my time right is thinking about um the macro strategy so what's important is like video creatives uh the copywriting the entire funnel the email the email marketing super important right so like I, I don't even spend that much of time into ads anymore. I'm thinking about strategy. I'm thinking about how to meet the buyer, how to scale. Okay, so that's number one. Uh, number two, uh, scaling is actually not very hard. Okay, so what's actually difficult is testing. Testing is um, the process of you uh, writing copy, writing messaging, and putting that copy and, and messaging out into the marketplace and out into the audience. Okay, and seeing what works or not. Okay, that is difficult because um, what you're trying to do is hypothesize. And usually you're wrong, right? But when you're right, right, you're very right. Right, your, the, the messaging is like super on point and uh, the, the, it resonates very, very hard with the, with the audience, okay? So um, scaling is actually easy. Testing is where it's very difficult and very time consuming as well, okay? So that's number two. Uh, number three is uh, video ads, okay? Video ads are super effective and cheap, okay? They're cheap to run, uh, much cheaper than photo ads, okay? Uh, I think one of our uh, viral videos, right? I think over the like $1.6 million time span, like I think around $400,000 is created by one video ad. Right, so that, that video ad, right, literally um, drive the entire cold traffic campaign so that we can push harder and scale harder as well, okay? Um, another thing that I think I already suggest to you guys uh, is that when you create video ads or, or be it any ad, right, try to be polarizing or try to do anything that can generate discussion and comments, okay? What that actually did for us, right, is that it generated tons of engagement and also drive down the CPM. Right, so drive down the CPM makes it cheaper. Uh, stuff like basically everything is gonna be be great. <laughs> okay, like p people somehow disagreed in the comment section, right? And uh, like uh, my client was saying, hey, should we do anything about them? They're saying some bad things about it or whatever, right? But like just ignore them. Just ignore the comments. The comments actually help you because it drives engagement. People share the video. Uh, what do you think about this? Something like that. So, okay, so that's like video ads wise. Okay, number four is a uh, credit card and fulfillment. So uh, the back end is actually very, very important. Okay, so w when you're scaling, right, once you hit around $2,000 to $3,000 per day, you better go and get another credit card in case uh, anything happens. Okay, in case that like the credit, uh, like they, they, they reject your credit card and you can cannot spend, then you cannot scale. Okay, so just in case, right, just have another, another credit card uh, in case and prepare for that. Okay, and uh, fulfillment-wise, don't run out of stock. Okay, once you see that you actually can scale and the messaging is there, try and do um, projections, forecasting for stock, that, that, you are, that you are supposed willing to buy uh, up front, right? So don't don't run on stock because if you run on stock, right, your momentum is going to die and uh, it's very hard to scale on that, okay? Very hard to scale, okay? Number five, um, yeah, so basically the, the stock thing, like we've experienced this multiple times. So th that's what I'm telling you and uh, just don't make the same mistakes uh, that, that we make, okay? It's, like, it's the most expensive mistakes ever, okay? Number five, um, traffic, right? Traffic is not the problem. Conversion is the problem. Right, there's a lot of mobile web traffic in the world. There is so much traffic. Everyone's on Instagram and Facebook. Right, there is no way that that uh, attention is the problem. The the problem is getting the customer and convince them uh, to pay you money. 
Okay, so um, for that, um, really focus on things like uh, the product page, okay, your ad. Is your message clear or not? Is your message clear? It's, it's very, very important and people don't understand, okay? The last piece of advice I want to give you is uh, stop looking at the data, okay? If you keep looking at the data, right, you keep thinking, okay, why aren't my customers buying for me? But you must keep in mind, right, like you're looking at numbers, but the people behind the screens, people behind your ads, they are real people, okay? So you got to be uh, selling to real people here that, that like they have the same emotions as you. So you, you must always think about it as, hey, how do I uh, convince a customer over the phone through a message or whatever uh, to actually buy from us, okay? And to ensure that the checkout process is, is frictionless as well. It's trustworthy, okay? So for, for, for you yourself, right? Just, just literally, just like go, go into your, to your phone and, and like look at your own product page. Will you buy from it, right? Think about the, the customer experience right here and think about the non-quantitative uh, stuff, the non-numerical stuff, okay? Focus on the entire customer experience, the checkout process. Uh, the upsells, the emails, um, the product itself, th does it deliver well, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Hopefully um, this gives you a bit of insight and uh, hopefully this helps you. Okay. Um, let me know what you think uh, in the comment section below. If you, and if you have any questions, right, literally just ask uh, below down there and uh, I'll try to make a video about it. All right. Um, hope to see you soon. Okay. See you in the next video.